to separate a mixture of sand and water by sedimentation and decantation. Sand is insoluble in water. Hence, it can be separated with the help of sedimentation and decantation process. But madam, explain how the mixture of sand and water can be separated with the help of sedimentation and decantation process. Sedimentation It is the process where in a mixture we observe the settling of heavy, solid particles at the bottom of the vessel, leaving above the supernatant liquid. Decantation It is the transfer of clear liquid from one vessel to another without disturbing the settled, sedimented particles. Let's do an experiment to separate a mixture of sand and water by sedimentation and decantation. The materials required are two beakers, a glass rod, sand and water. Procedure Take a beaker and put two teaspoons of sand into it. Add about 200 milliliter of water and stir to prepare a mixture. Before preparing the mixture, weigh the sand and record the weight for tallying at the end of the experiment. Stir the mixture thoroughly with the help of a glass rod. Leave the mixture stand undisturbed for some time. The sand particles will settle down at the bottom of the beaker. Slowly and steadily decant the clear water into another beaker without disturbing the layer of the sediments of sand. Weigh the sand once again on drawing. Observation Material Sand Weight before the experiment. Weight after the experiment. Result. The mixture of sand and water can be separated by sedimentation and decantation processes. Do's. Sand particles tend to get blown away with air. So, switch off the fans while performing this activity. Don'ts. Don't shake the beaker once the sediments have settled at the bottom of it. Be careful while pouring water into another beaker. Decantation Thank you, madam. This experiment has made the concept very easy to understand. <laughs>